Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> uh, last time we did two levels of uh, Magic Crafters. The, uh, we did, uh, whatever it is, Alpine Ridge and High Caves. Alpine Ridge is over there, High Caves is a bit higher up, as you might expect. Uh, we're going to do probably two more levels in this video, we'll see how we go. Uh, if I can remember where they are, that would be great. Uh, we have to get past the ones we've already done. Uh, just supercharge here, there we go, and you can break through there, over here, okay, so there's one up there, and there's another one down there, that's the boss actually, so I guess we're doing the boss in this video, okay, <laughs> uh, but first up we're going to go to Wizard Peak, which is this one here, as you might expect, this level's got some wizards in it, so, yeah, look forward to seeing some more wizards, um, because we're going to, because it's Wizard Peak. And Spyro is a dragon, and that's why the game is called Spyro the Dragon. And Spyro breathes fire, like many dragons, and does barrel roll, like many dragons, and now we're landing in Wizard Peak, which is apparently set at night time. Okay, I didn't really remember that. Okay, so what have we got to find here? Uh, I need 500 gems, 3 dragons, 2 eggs. That's quite a bit of stuff. It's pretty much the same as the other levels we've done in this uh, home world, but still, it's still quite a lot of stuff. Is that water? Yeah, it is. Don't touch the water! Okay, so these guys are lightning wizards. You're gonna watch out for them, because they've got ranged attacks. They're fairly slow, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you can see a wizard up there. We can't reach him from down here, so we're just gonna keep going this way for now. Ow! That's just rude. Some more loot over here. There we go. I'm having trouble with these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, we've been hit twice. We now have a green sparks, which is not good. We would prefer a gold sparks. Oh my god, we now don't have a sparks at all. I'm doing badly. I could die. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Wow. Let's try to play a bit better than that. <laughs> Reigniting. It's going to take a weirdly long time to reignite. There we go. Anyway, we're back. Uh, we lost a life, but it's no big deal. The enemies are also back, but they'll now give us pearls, so it's still useful. I'm still having trouble with these guys. I'm just not getting close enough, I think. So I'm not burning them when I should be. Hmm. It's interesting that every enemy gives you the same kind of pearl when they give you different amounts of gems to begin with. I am still having trouble here, as you can see. Um... Okay. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen any critters I can get butterflies out of, so I can't actually heal yet. Um, I don't know what critters there are in this level. I guess we'll see. Anyway, here's a dragon. Um, it's Jarvis. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Okay. If you say so. Okay, there's a sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Okay, I think these big wizards can be killed with fire, but supercharging is fun, so I'm going to use supercharging if I can. Okay, we have uh, blue sparks now, that's a little bit better. I really prefer the ideal type of sparks, but we can't always have that. And there's some loot all the way over there, so we'll need to glide over there from somewhere. There we go. 
Uh, here there's a padded chest, you can see. We have to supercharge into that, we can't break it open in... Well, there's a couple of other things that can break it, but they probably aren't in this level because there are supercharge ramps. So you're probably supposed to supercharge. There we go. Easy peasy. Here's another dragon. It's Hexus. Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, you're welcome. That's all you got to say? Alright. Okay, here we want to supercharge to this spot in order to get a big jump. So we're going to need to build that up back at the supercharge ramp. We also want to go this way, of course, so that we can get hit by that guy because I'm not handling these enemies very well. Oh, seriously? I got a safe down here. Dang it. I can hear a thief. There's the thief up there. Uh, it's going to be a bit scary trying to get that dragon egg because the thief is going to be running around that little pool of water, which will kill me. Um, or I can just do that. It's pretty easy. <laughs> cool. Uh, I would really like a sheep or three at this juncture so that I can get my sparks back. There aren't very many sheep in this level. I've seen like one. Bit frustrating. Well, reigniting again. I'm not sure why they have this really long delay between respawns. That doesn't happen in the normal game. Hmm. I don't think we need to get the egg again. You can see the thief doesn't have an egg anymore, so there's no much point trying to chase him. You can get some pearls, though. Which is often quite nice. Yeah, you can just burn those wizards, that's what I thought. Uh, dragon here. I think that's the last one. Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area. How is that ball staying over your head? Near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Yeah, this is the dragon I mentioned earlier that tells you about the flight level in Addison's homeworld, but you don't actually need to find him in order to unlock that in this version of the game, which is interesting. Since in the original game you did, you had to find him, or it wouldn't let you do that. Okay, so how are we doing? Uh, pretty well, actually. Uh, across the right homeworld. There's another egg somewhere. Uh, jump down and kill that guy just to make sure. Yeah, it's just a pearl. Basically, I think we want to do that supercharge thing I mentioned earlier and glide up on that ramp. And that should get us access to the rest of the loot. Here at Wizard Peak. Bam! Well, the sheep here. That's where the sheep have been hiding. Or butterflies cosplaying sheep? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, we can glide from here to get to that one. Like so. And we can glide to that one. There we go. Okay, um, I think that's everything over here. So I guess there must be another route we need to take to get the rest of the loot. I can see there's some loot up there we haven't managed to reach, but I can't see a uh, ramp or something for jumping up there. Let's have a look around. 
Okay, uh, I could supercharge and then jump here. There isn't really a ramp, though. That doesn't look low enough to glide to. Hmm. Let me see here. My thinking is if I build up a supercharge using these ramps, I might be able to just jump and get enough distance. There's also still a couple of wizards and stuff I haven't managed to reach. I'm trying to get up there. Maybe if I glide off the side here? Mm, that's a bit far. Yeah, you can't hit him. It looks like you might be able to, but you can't. Uh, if I go right, right back to the very beginning here, is there anything I can glide to? Yes! Here's another sheep hiding. This is where all the sheep were. <laughs> they were off the edges, hiding in areas I couldn't think of going to. <laughs> Alright, and there's a whirlwind here, which probably takes me up to that. Oh, okay, gets me up here. Alright. How did it be how I reached those wizards I couldn't reach? By flying around up here. Uh, I think I want to glide from about here. Let's see how we go. No, no, no! Oh, uh, well, I'm not dead. But I'm gonna climb back up there, which is annoying. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Yeah. There we go. We can just glide over there. I think we wanna go all the way around here. In order to get close enough. Yeah. I'm a dragon, and my name is Spyro, cause I am Spyro the dragon. Yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna aim for the part that's closest, like that. There we go, easy. I just messed it up because I'm bad at video games. <laughs> uh, gem, gem. Yeah, you can loop all the way around there. You can also, uh, I think there's a slightly lower ledge. Yeah, we wanna drop down to here, get these. And we can probably glide over there. It looks close enough. Yeah. That's how you reach this wizard. Take that, wizard man. Oh, you know, wizard. I don't know if the wizard's the dude, so or not. Maybe they are. Alright, so... Where do we go for this next part, then? Because there was another wizard here somewhere. Yeah, I've already done all of that, so that's covered. Hmm. So there's another wizard up there, I don't know how to reach that one. Hang on, if we go over there maybe? No. I we can glide from here. Okay, there's the wizard. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really see anything around there that would help me get up. Maybe on the other side there's something? Whoa, okay, I, I think I just got a big boost from jumping off of this little ledge here, so maybe, maybe a supercharge can get me up there. Interesting. <laughs> Let's just try that again, maybe with better aim this time. Oh, hmm. I don't know if that actually gives you enough height or not. It's hard to tell. What's well, possible I'm not supposed to use a supercharge when to do something else? I don't really know what. Hmm. And then there's this. Um, I guess I can probably supercharge over there. Let's just give it a shot. I if we want to double up my supercharge, which you can do by going down two ramps. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. 
Okay, I think the thief is on this platform because I can hear, you know, thief noises. Heck yeah. Alright, well, we're probably done over here. How do I get back? Um, I can't glide to there, it's too high up. Maybe I can glide over there? It looks pretty far though. Um, hmm. I think they forgot to put in a way for me to get back. I'll try gliding over there and see how I go. Oh, 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 just. That was real close. Okay, <laughs> so we're nearly there. Um, it's just that one wizard, I think, I need to figure out how to reach. So let's try going this way. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. Because you just don't jump high enough. Like, the supercharge boosts you forward, but it doesn't make you jump any higher. Maybe if I can jump from over here with a supercharge? I don't know how I would get a supercharger all the way over there, though. Hmm. Don't want to look at a guide again. I don't want to look at a guide again. <laughs> Maybe there's something around the outside here that I can use to glide to where that wizard is. Let's just head through here again and have a good look around. There's a sheepy. Uh, there's the bridge. Uh, let me see. If I glide over here, like so. Can use the whirlwind to gain some height. Put myself up here. Okay, so I can glide over there, but can I keep going this way to reach the wizard? I feel like I can if I just glide off here and then go around the corner. Let's see what happens. Yes, that was right. Heck yeah! Level complete. Heck yeah! <laughs> okay, uh, let's just head to the exit, which is this way. Alright, and then we can go do the boss, and that'll be a video. Okay, so that's another 500 treasure into our treasure vault. There we go. A little bit of lag there. Kind of surprised they haven't put out an update that fixes that. Because it's been a while since I've last played Spyro. But, eh. I guess it's okay. It's not a huge problem. If it happened during gameplay, it would really mess things up. But just having it on the loading screen is alright. Anyway, um, we're back in Magic Crafters. So all we got to do now is head down. <coughs> Sorry about that. Head down to the, the rear end of Wizard Peak, which is this direction. We want to go over there, the blowhard entrance is. Um, we're going to get one of the sheep around here, just so we go in with full health. There we go. There we go, okay. So yeah, blowhard is the boss of this kingdom. Um, it's one of those whirlwind wizards. But like a real big one, basically. Uh, there's also the flying level here, which is only 80% complete, but... I don't want to do it right now, so we'll, we'll move on to the next world instead. <laughs> anyway, here we are, blowhard. So yeah, you got a bunch of weather wizards all over the place. Gotta watch out for those, because they're weather wizards and they're pretty pretty threatening. Fortunately, they're very vulnerable to fire, like most wizards. I assume. <laughs> Haven't really met a whole lot of wizards in real life to test their vulnerability of various things, but I imagine fire is something that wizards would be fairly vulnerable to. Unfortunately, lightning is something that dragonflies are vulnerable to, as you can see. So yeah, there's the um, tornado wizard there. I don't think that's Blowhard, I think it's one of the little ones. 
because, you know, this is a platformer, therefore the boss level has to have little versions of the boss. I think it is the boss. I don't remember. Yeah, that, I think that might actually be the boss. Haven't played this, this as part of the game in quite a while. Uh, here you've got those uh, green fellows who move platforms around to annoy you. They're not too hard to deal with. Since all they do is move platforms up and down, or in various other directions. Here's a dragon. It's Altair! Thanks for releasing me, Spyro! You You're welcome, Altair. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in Crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. Maybe you should answer the question. Your, your Spyro... The, the dragon? <laughs> Spyro, come on. Yeah, I think that was actually the boss that we attacked earlier. And then he just sort of went away. Instead of giving us any gems. So yeah, most of the boss battle here is just basic platforming, uh, with the moving stuff. Thanks to the moving guys who make moving platforms move. Moving. <laughs> uh, you can see there's a bit of a shortcut now, there's a whirlwind down there. That's where we saw Bloha the first time, so we can skip past that little intern inside segment. If we happen to die and need to go through that first bit again, we don't have to go through the first bit again. Anyway, here's Whirlwind Man. Pretty easy to hit him. There we go. And then he flies away, and we have to follow him. Uh, some more of these jumpy gem thingies. Where you gotta jump over it to grab the gem. There we go. Are there 500 here? 400. Okay. Pretty sure we're making good progress. Heck yeah. Take that, dude. So yeah, Blowhard is not a hard boss by any stretch of the imagination, as you can see. Uh, this chest should have the last few gems in it. It does. And we're done. So yeah, that was super easy. Um, we're still only at 20 minutes. We might just have a quick peek at the next world just so you get an idea of what it's like. We won't do any levels or anything. Just, just have a quick look. Love to breathe some fire. So yeah, Blowhard is very, very easy, which is why I could not remember that level at all, because it's significantly easier than many of the other bosses in the game. <laughs> I kinda wish these guys would hit each other, because they're both, like, shooting at me and behind each other. That'd be kinda cool. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna head on to the next world here. for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. You're welcome. I think we need maybe five to continue. I forget how many actually we need. But we have way more than we need. Would you like to go? Yeah, so we're gonna look at the next world, which is Beast Makers. Uh just have a quick peek. So it's world four beast makers. Uh, a little bit of lag here. You can't actually do anything in the balloon, which is a little bit disappointing. You couldn't in the original game either. But this version lets you do barrel rolls and breathe fire and stuff while you're flying, so it's a bit sad you can't do that sort of thing when you're in the balloon. I mean, you probably couldn't do barrel rolls in a hot air balloon, but, you know, you could use some fire to make the balloon hotter or something. That'd be kind of cool. But you can't do that. Oh, well. Anyway, we're about to arrive, so we're just going to have a quick look around when we get here. Quick little look around. Oh, jeez. So yeah, here we are, Beast Makers. This world takes place at night time, which is interesting. Uh, it's also like a swamp sort of thing. And... Yeah, the, the food is like weird, creepy chickens. They look more normal in this version. In the uh, original version of the game, I thought they were like little hopping brains. But they're just chickens. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's, Pretty typical sort of sort of deal. Uh, we'll have a quick look around just so you get an idea of what's, what's up. Uh, there's a lot of these guys around. 
they electrify the platform they're standing on, uh, and they're wearing like rubber shoes, so that doesn't hurt them. So you got to time it carefully to kill them before they zap you. Like you don't want to jump on the floor at the wrong time and get hurt, basically. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm actually going to go into this world in the next video, I reckon. But for now, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll do some Beast Makers world. Um, yeah. Also, the fire over here doesn't hurt because fire is a dragon. <laughs> and dragons, dragons are fireproof. I forget whether this fire in this game can hurt you, but that fire cannot hurt you, so that's cool. So yeah, these just look like chickens. I, I don't know why I thought they were brains. In the original, they look like brains. They look like chickens in this version. Just like, sad chickens. Anyway, thanks for watching. 